Andre, it look like so the next time I reap my farm, I can send you go on a market or sell. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Your hand, saying your hand my, good. My, your I'm hand on the money. Proud of you, Big my of friend. Yourself. Big of yourself. <laughs> so, Andre is going to start us off with a shrimp in tomato basil bourbonque, followed by crab and black truffle cream risotto. Sounds yummy. It's, it, it is, it is. And Terry, Terry will be doing lobster crostini, followed by her delicious key lime mousse. Before we get started though, we'd like to welcome some of our friends who are joining us today at the counter. Welcome. Welcome to Moya Chen and Ruth and Byfield and Nikara Williams. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. First of all, are you guys hungry? Yes. So, I'm going to get started. Terry, <coughs> I'm going to ask you to season up some shrimp over here for me. Alrighty. Alright, I just want you to touch it with some baking soda, some right. salt and some thyme. Baking soda might sound like a strange thing to put on your shrimp. But what happens is baking soda will allow your shrimp to, will help your shrimp rather to stay plump and juicy, right? It helps with the texture, it helps with flavor. And that's what we're all about here, all right? Cool. Now, we're gonna sweat off. We're gonna soften up our seasonings over here. I'm gonna add it to some oil on a medium heat, cook it until it's softened and it will sweeten up a bit. I'm gonna start with some onion. We're gonna add a bit of thyme. We're gonna add some garlic, all right? So I'm gonna test my oil first. That's ready. Yep, hear that sizzle. Add all of that. I'm gonna add the rest of the thyme. I'm gonna stir it up a bit here. Now you notice I didn't add the garlic immediately. Garlic burns a lot easier than these other seasonings here. And when it burns, it gets bitter. So I don't want to put it in there too soon. That's what all right. Now what we're using this to do is flavor the sauce. We're not going to actually have it in the sauce at the end. It's just going to release the flavor into the sauce. We're going to strain it off and then continue from there. Then we'll add the garlic for another minute. Following the garlic, we'll add some white wine. Now what you want to do is add a dry white wine. What that means is a wine that's not sweet. All right? Sweet wines are for drinking. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in. We're gonna turn up the flame. All we're looking to do is to reduce the amount of liquid that's in here. And what that means is to cut down the portion and that will intensify the flavors. Oh, nice, right? nice. So we're gonna reduce this by, I'd say about a half. Following that, we're gonna add some champagne vinegar. All right, so we're just waiting for this to reduce. All right, as soon as it gets to where we want it, we're gonna add the vinegar, as I mentioned before. We're gonna add some black pepper. And this is freshly ground black pepper, right? When you, when you do that, you get a better flavor rather than those that are already ground and Holy. put in a supermarket. Yeah, okay. So we had used the McCormick black pepper grinder to get that. Yeah. And that black pepper grinder is so cool. It has a coarse feature and a fine feature. So you can select which one you want if yeah, you wanted a rough chop. I dig it. I thought it was kind of cool, right? I've never seen that before. Andre, what did you just put in that pot? So we added the vinegar smell, and a bit yes, of the I black pepper. The vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 yes, 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 that's what I'm smelling. Now, mm -hmm. you can add a little bit of sugar here okay. if the, the vinegar and the white wine is a bit too much for you. Mm -hmm. All right, I've done that before. It adds a really nice flavor to it. Now, we're straining off the sauce here. I'm going to ask you to just press this through. Right. I have a little spoon over there. Use yeah, because I'm going to keep using this for a little bit. Now, what we're gonna do, mm -hmm. like I said before, we don't want all the, the, the onion and the garlic in the sauce. We want it to be right. silky smooth, mm -hmm. but we want all the flavor out of it. So we're gonna press it, squeeze out every last bit that you can get, right. mm -hmm. and it will be in here and in here at the end of the cooking. Oh, so you okay. get the flavor without actually Without having actually having to bite any of these things. Right. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna add some more olive oil here to the pan now that it's dry, and what we're gonna do after this is just to sear the shrimp for a little bit. Now, you remember from episode one, searing is just browning it a bit. Right? Now, shrimp cooks very quickly, mm -hmm. right? I, like I don't <laughs> like an overcooked shrimp. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we have it on medium high heat here. We're gonna brown it very quickly. 25 to 30 seconds per side. Seconds. Mm. Seconds. seconds. Okay. Wow, okay. This will okay. come together very quickly. Okay. Look at that. It's already starting to get a little pink. 
Remind me why you said you use is it baking powder? Yes. Baking, baking powder. powder. When you marinate your shrimp in baking powder for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Baking soda, rather. Soda. Oh, it, soda. It, it will help the shrimp to remain plump. plump. But these are about to be some of the nicest shrimp you've ever had. Quite possibly. possibly. And I say that Quite possibly. with all modesty right now. Okay. Right. No, okay. All right. <laughs> Modesty. All <laughs> modesty no, right now. No, Andre. Is there any modesty <laughs> in it? Simple as that. This is the, the sauce base. Mm -hmm. We're going to add it back to the pan. We're going to turn this up on high. And we're going to heat it up a bit. And just let it reduce a little bit more. Okay. All right. What I have over here, I have some cold cubed butter. Mm -hmm. but I'm going I'm to remove it from the heat mm -hmm. and add the butter <coughs> two chunks at a time okay. stirring constantly oh okay. this is called emulsification right mm -hmm. if i just add the butter there it's going to melt and it's going to be this big greasy mess mm -hmm. and we don't want that we want a sauce that's cohesive mm -hmm. right okay. i think this is at a decent enough level i'm going to remove it and just add a few you don't have to be exact i said two but if you add three that's fine mm -hmm. and you're just going to rub it you're just going to stir it in now when you see just a little piece of the butter left before it's fully melted, we're going to add some more. I realize it's really not that good. It's pretty simple. simple. It's pretty I guess it's just knowing the steps. Yes. Right. Right. No, this is not the healthiest thing in the world. Right? So this <laughs> is not something I want you to be having every butter. week. Right? <laughs> right but that is a special treat. Yeah, yeah, this is a special treat. And okay. you have to have but that. You can't just leave it on the weekend. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> you can't just <laughs> no on the weekend. <laughs> the Monday. Mondays to Friday. <laughs> Mondays to Friday. That's when you come to Calum. Listen, I, 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 I can't say that too loud in my gym no. trainer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we just added the last bit of butter. I'm going to put it back on the heat. I'm going to ensure that it's on low flame, all right? Because I don't want the butter to separate. Uh -huh. okay. Now, I'm going to add my tomatoes. Okay. All right. Ideally, you'd want this to go just maybe a minute and a half. I don't want the tomatoes to be this firm. I want them to soften up just a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this a taste and see if I do actually need to add my brown sugar. Okay. I think so. It's a little yeah. bit acidic. Okay. I'm going to add a, just a touch of sugar here. What is a touch? If I'm cooking, what is a touch? <laughs> Two teaspoons. You can do it to taste. Okay. To taste. You can do it okay. to taste. You understand? Um, for me, that was that looked right like about, about two teaspoons. teaspoons. Mm -hmm. so we're going to add the shrimp. All right. So again, wow. shrimp cooks very quickly. Two and a half, three minutes, and you're done. So we don't want to have this in here too long. We want to ensure that everything is done before. Everything is cooked and ready. So that by the time we add the shrimp, we just have another minute and a half, mm -hmm. and we're good to go. All right. You notice this, this isn't bubbling viciously. Right, because right. it's I on want low it flame. Gently, mm -hmm. gently simmering, because I don't want to overcook the shrimp, and again, I don't want the butter to separate right. from everything else. Black pepper, okay. a bit more salt, the basil, just stir. See how pretty that looks. He added green to the red. Yes. Yeah. Just trying to get the basil to infuse. Okay. Very pretty. Yep. Terry, I'm going to ask you to hand me that serving spoon, please. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to get to sharing. That Again, remember what we discussed before uh -huh. about a little bit of height adding to your presentation. Yeah. All right. Oh. Can I make that delicious sauce? <laughs> we are in sync. It. Bye bye bye. Yeah. And you know, like parsley for me is like uh, the simplest thing to make anything look fancy. Like simplest thing. Thank you. Oh, it's green. Yeah. Just now <laughs> trying to get this ready for you. All right. Let's Two, see. Hours, right. Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> Two hours. Right, to ensure that everything is in order. Before. All right. So I'll taste my rice first. Okay. Mmm. Mm. So I've never tasting. had shrimp with juice before. Baking soda. Don't overcook them. Mm. Yeah. 